awesomeness. Well, in this beauty of a place, we are making ourselves sticky tab bases. Brady's working on. So we take and put these together. Earlier, he was doing Tetris for the couches. Tetris shapes, Tetris shapes underneath here. So we've pre-tabbed so we don't have any wood transfer if things get, when the carpet gets moist. Let me take you downstairs and show you a urine situation. All right, so we saw some flash underneath here. So, and there's our little indication of moisture and a spill and, and we know it's urine. And then we had in another spot in here. You can see over here. So we got another urine situation going here. So we're gonna take care of that with our odor oxy today. If we've not shown you the view, let's I'm do that. Here. He's down there. Beautiful Northern Minnesota Lake. And that's a Brady. So that it is. Got ourselves in a sprayer, a sprayer head. Let's go treat it. If you're not seeing this beautiful view from the outside, see all that glass? We can't have all that glass. We've got grandkids. <laughs> It would be a disaster at our place. Beautiful resort condo, timeshare, and a Brady. <laughs> All right, even with my shadow here, you can kind of see what we're dealing with. And I'm gonna get it saturated enough, get it down to where the urine is. Give a little pat down if you need to sometimes too to push it in. Again, this is peroxide based with a mango scent. That is a side, an odor eliminator that's peroxide stable. Yeah, I'm not forgetting about the other area. I know you were all wondering. Lots of spills and spots. That's what happens when it's kind of a resort situation. Again, we're gonna try to remove soils and hair and any dry soil and debris we can get out to make our pre-spray work even better. Well, there's a doozy of a spot. Yep, that isn't gonna come out with vacuuming, I know that, but seeing what was maybe in there too. Well, it isn't bad for the entire house. Let's get to the back side here and take a look. You can see we've got it piled in the back there. So the flavor flave of the day is our Sager's 10 Below with some Mango Burst Sensation deodorizer in it. Have a little beach time fun. Brady's got what's called our sealador. Go ahead, set it up. Okay. I'll back up so they can see. We're unrolling it. It's got a zipper, it's got a window. I've got the bag down here, our spotting bag. Works to anchor really good. So Brady's just popping it in up there. Gonna find it in the spot down there and pop it in up there. And now we got a really great fit. And that's why they call it a sealador. And what is that behind that curtain there? Okay, what you're not seeing a lot of right now, but these are wings that were added on it and at the top too. So we've really got a good seal. I have another door seal. Well, there's some others out there, but I have another one on poles at my shop. And I'm actually gonna do a comparison to show you the differences because my opinion, this thing is far superior. Even five or six people that came in and looked at it in our shop. Time to bring on the blue, baby. Let's go get cleaning. Maybe I'll even get on the lake this weekend. All right, let's get this seal's door sealed up, zipped up, and done, done, done. We've got air conditioning. We're gonna use it to our advantage. Look how that seals up there. That's a seal door All right, so Brady's upstairs. I might as well grab this, save a trip. You know, think once. Feet only have to move once rather than twice. So your brain wasn't engaged. We'll get this set for when we get here. Easy stuff, right Brady? Smooth like butter. Smooth like butter. Pretty clean carpet we're cleaning up here at the moment. Well, that's turning out really, really good. I didn't know it would turn out quite that well but it's doing excellent. It's brightening up even for looking cleaner. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's using the Conway Devastator to get underneath. You gotta love that. Swivel head, rigid swivel. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, but anyway, back to it. It is turning out really great. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm hoping the downstairs gets that nice and bright. Nice to clean with a view, isn't it, Brady? Look oh, at yeah. that. Look at that view out there. 
we got all kinds of awesome windows. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, again, we have an example where we've pre-tabbed with sticky tabs before we even put down the pre-spray. So those are gonna act like a slider. It's also with this kind of antique-ish furniture, it's always good to pre-tab before you get moisture around it because they can leave a mark. Darn good. You're doing pretty darn good work there, young man. Oh, well, I had a good teacher. Huh. Dang that, Aaron. <laughs> mm. And again with the dry passes. So Brady, that spot that was down over there, I, I don't want you to extract that until uh, we get there. I so get it's it. already gone. You haven't extracted it yet? No. Well, it, where was, th it was over, over here. Where the heck did you go? Wow. It's 10 below now. It's 10 below. <laughs> okay, uh, seriously, we haven't extracted back here yet. I think the spot was right there. And the 10 below has already taken it out. We're gonna have to extract to find it, but Dang, Brady, we do good work already. That's right. Wow. <laughs> view. What a view. Oh, yeah, the, that, spot for you now. that spot was in there. I think you're coming up to it about now. You just caught a corner. I swear it was right there. Wow. That's awesome. <sighs> Brady's got to duck down. Those dining room lights always get you. But it's kind of cool because we had a lot of, there's still some spots. He just got me it's because I snuck up on him. There's still some spots there, but a number of them started going away already just with the pre-spray, which is very, very cool that it's suspending the soil and breaking up those spots, stained soil. The Brady's getting underneath those uh, chairs we got up there on the counter. I always love a dining room. Dining room's next to the kitchen. We can always get some good video. Would you look at that? That's cool. Let's see if that stuff goes away. Well, I'll be. I think it's because I brought the spotting bag that it got nervous, all yeah, those spots. You, you scared all we the scared stores. them all away with the spotting bag out there. Okay, right. Yeah, an intimidation. Intimidation factor with the spotting bag. We haven't found any good eating here quite yet, though. No, nothing for you to eat off the floor today, Mark. Yeah. Guess we're going to have to stop somewhere and get some cold snacks. Cold snacks. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, Brady, your head is kind of like a pinwheel now. <laughs> you kind of had a pinwheel head there for a minute. <laughs> it happens. There's something I can sample. What is no that? Oh. That's potential raisin or something. That's got some protein and keep raisins? you going kind of snacks. Did you just say raisins have protein? Oh, don't they? No. no? He's always a smart kid in the class, belittling us other kids. <laughs> I don't know how many other kids think raisins have protein, Mark. Well, what's, honest, what's it got? I'll look it up. Somebody let me know. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. Do it. I did huh. it. Ooh. Get on top of that.
Love those. Love it when a great plan comes together. Did you have a plan? I never have a plan. Yeah, okay. We're shooting from the hip today. Wow, that is just, that's amazing. I hope this video shows how crazy great that looks. That is just insane. I'm gonna pick Brady's nose. There we go. Oh, got him in the head. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, oh. What about me? <laughs> I was just picking your nose for them. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Whew. Awesomeness. Oh, sure. We have one spot stain that ain't cooperating. We're gonna have to put some dissolve all on it's looking like, isn't it? Yep. See how carefully he's doing that? Pulling from it so not to scratch the wood. He actually got that, that's really good. Pretty nice, pretty nice. A little bit of wear started from the kitchen. Little bit of wear spot there. Yep, the kitchen, there's a little bit of a wear path. It's curled up, it's flattened out. A little bit of the uh, fibers are gone. Huh, just saw a fly. We're gonna have to go on the hunt. What? Saw a fly, we gotta go on the hunt here soon. It'd be lunch. <laughs> We're like food connoisseurs. Or is that dinosaurs? No, talk about my age. You stop that. I see what you're thinking. Mark's first slide in was on the back of a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, ka-ching, ba dum bump Okay, so keep yourself a microfiber towel to wipe up carefully up yourself. And for my good friend, Joel Dumpy, if you ever see this, we call it a rag. When we're done with it, it's a rag. Have that little bit left. I'm gonna start over in that corner a little bit and then we'll go downstairs. How's that sound? You're just excited, I can tell. <laughs> oh, we forgot. Got a bedroom in there too. You always forget the bedroom. I do, god dang it. All right, Brady says you get down there and clean something, Mark. Is that what you said, Brady? Pretty much. Pretty much? He's such a slave driver. Tell ya. Well, and, someone's gotta keep you in line. And then this is just me going down the stairs slowly yet because my knee, okay, I'll practice it. Oh gosh, that hurts. All right. Oh, we got a view. Purdy, purdy view again. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I can clean here. My slave driving didn't go so well. Two passes in and Mark's got an important phone call to make. Hey, what's going on there? All right, give me a second. I'm gonna pass the buck here. Oh, I think it broke a nail. Oh, dang it, Brady. Poor I thing. I think it did. So, Imagine how much you hurt yourself if you ran the lawn. I know, yeah. I just got off the phone, too. So in that time frame on that last call, he did that room and that room. Are you breathing hard yet? It's kind of hot down here. It's hot. It's a little hot. We'll get, them a, we'll get you a freezy in a little bit. A the freezy? grandkids love the freezies, yeah. They're in the shop freezer if you're ever looking for a freezy. Oh, I know. Parker comes up and has me <laughs> sneak into him. Parker sneaking into him. Yeah, that's funny. No, I sneak him to Parker. Oh, you sneak him to Parker, yeah, huh? Yeah, he knows where they are. He knows I'll just always give him one if he asks. Yeah. Give him candy and send him home. That's our philosophy. Okay, not my problem. And a Mountain Dew or two. <laughs> Still looking darn good. Well, thanks, Mark. Oh, well, yeah, you're, you're spiffy with your socks today. Definitely, always. I didn't think he liked that comment. He's going into the other room. <laughs> Coming to the new pee spot that has been sitting and dwelling with the odor oxy for a while and to rinse it out. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of a pss, 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 little more misting spraying, make sure it's all taken care of even while we're gone action. Out of my way, Brady. <laughs> you out of my way. You're out of my way. A little pss, pss, pss. Oh boy, that's nice. Okay, well good, we'll just give it a little more action. The peroxide will just turn to water. The side will just get rid of any odor that's remaining. God, that looks great. 
You do darn good work. I know. He's modest too. <laughs> right there, that area. That's gonna little pss, 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 gonna happen too when he's done cleaning it. Try this again. All right, let's try it again. Let's see who calls next. Who is the next contestant on Who Can Call Mark today? How many stairs before the phone rings? Let's find out. We'll put this in speed action, just in case. There's there's six, 16 here. If I can make it without a phone call coming in, I am going to be blown away. You should buy lottery tickets. Yeah, yeah. Place your bets. Sagarai stair one. No. Dual jet, glided, swivel head. See that flip? Oh yeah. Is this number six? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Find out. Still in the running. Can Mark get a phone call? Number six. Thought I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. There's six. Starting seven in a minute. Oh, got a chokehold on the Devastator there. Oh boy. There you go. All right, going for seven. Seven. Record. Yeah. They okay, were going for eight. Mark has to clean this many stairs in a row since the four cell phones were invented. <laughs> There's probably some truth to that. Eight. Thought I heard it. Feel that. Feel that mist on your face. Yes, that refreshing, cool mist. Yes. Because these butlers don't make no hit, as you can tell. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Must be lunchtime. Everyone must be eating. Does that mean it's our lunchtime? Could be. Didn't buy any snacks? I know. But there's a corner store, and we did have breakfast. That's an important meal of the day, I'm told. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell, tell the folks what you had for breakfast, Mark, see if it still is important. Coffee and an apple fritter count? I did have some nuts and yogurt kind of thing. Oh, that's almost healthy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost. <laughs> Love my donut. Love my fritter. Wow. This is the quietest my phone has been a long time. You know, I started out this morning talking to one of my distributors in the United Kingdom. Well, they distributed in the United No, excuse me, in Australia. Australia, mate. Yeah. So it was good to hear from him and what's happening there, but it was an early I know. I know. I've still got skills. The old man still got it. Two to go, Brady. Do I don't know. The anticipation is killing me. It's gonna, it's gonna ring right now. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to open your phone and have 10 minutes calls after this. Last part. Tell the folks at home how it feels to work for 10 minutes straight without a phone call, Mark. I'm sweating. Really am. Toss me that stuff so I can give that spot a little oh, when yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get some fish fish in it. Here, give her a toss. Thank you. Oh. I did. I'm two for two. Yeah, little misty, misty spritz, spritz, and Pepe Le Pew is gone. Wonderful. Let's go. Okay, now that I'm all worn out, Brady's gonna take the charge and take it on home, finish it out. I 
Oh, like an animal. You got this now? Well, we had a little bit of good eating. We had some sus -sus -sus spraying. Showed him my step technique. Don't forget the view, Mark. The, oh, the view, yes. Don't no, forget the view. I'm still over here. Oh, I see. There's the view. <laughs> oh, God, this kid. All right, he's got that part. He can handle that. I'm going to start moving stuff back into the van. I can do it one handed without dropping. It's, uh, it's afternoon time now. We're kind of missing lunch. We don't always stop for lunch. We just eat as we go. But it's been a great summer day. It's almost the 4th of July. I'm going to take a little time off and go enjoy it with the grandbabies and the family. And I'm going to float on the lake. So thanks for checking us out while we're cleaning up in northern Minnesota in a beautiful lodge. Look at these wrapping up the seal door. That must be the cue. We're done. That is. All right, it's wrap. We're out of here. See ya. Bye. Oh, and thank you for your comments, likes, and you subscribers. Really hope we can keep you somewhat entertained and educated to those of you looking for carpet cleaning tips, or if you're just here to see the dirty cleaning and the dirty water about to come up. Mm -hmm.